Okay, so what is uh, sequential rationality? It, 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 it means the following. I, I'm going to give you two sort of uh, definitions. Uh, an optimal strategy for a player should maximize his or her expected payoff conditional on every information set at which this player has the move. So whenever a player has a decision node in the game, well, his strategy should subscribe an optimal strategy, meaning a strategy that maximizes his expected payoff in that, uh, in that, in that part of the game. Alternatively, a player I's strategy should specify an optimal action from each of player I's information sets, even those that player I does not believe ex ante before the game starts will be reached in the game. So here, therefore, if you apply this idea of uh, sequential rationality, um, so here, remember, player two's information set can actually not be reached if player one plays out. So nevertheless, player two shouldn't be saying, you know what, because I believe my opponent is going to stay out, uh, I should be reluctant to say I can play uh, price war because, you know, my opponent is not going to, uh, you know, you know uh, bring the game into this scenario where I really have to make a choice. So therefore, I really, I really do not optimize my strategy uh, in, in this profile. This shouldn't be the case. Okay. Um, so that's what we mean by sequential rationality. And this actually brings this idea of uh, what's called backward induction. It basically says the following. Well, you know what? If we are expecting uh, an optimal strategy to be a profit maximizing at every decision node or at every information set a player has throughout the game, well then, why don't we start from the last information set? Uh, or, or the, the last player who moves in this game and maximize his payoff and then move one step up and then the second, uh, uh, you know, uh, the second last player's uh, optimal strategy and then the third last and so on. You see what I mean? So here that means in a very simple example, because the second guy or the second player is the last mover, uh, I mean, is potentially the last moving player, let's first find his optimal strategy. So if ever the game comes up to this position, I don't know yet if the game is going to come to this position or to this point, node, but if it comes to this point, remember this idea of sequential rationality says player two should be choosing wisely his strategy. Well, is player two going to price war or accommodate? Well, the decision is very simple. Am I going to choose strategy P or accommodate? Well, he's going to go for accommodate clearly because payoff 20 is higher than minus 10, right? No need to worry about the previous moves. If the game ever comes to this point, two will clearly go for accommodate. So let me put arrow here indicating that the second guy's strategy is actually the optimal strategy is accommodate. And then let's move on to the first player. By the way, who is making this thought process? Well, because this game is common knowledge, both player one and player two are expected to make this thought process, all right? Um, so the player one is gonna say, hey, look, because player two will play accommodate if the game ever comes to this point, well, that means if I play in, I really shouldn't worry about this payoff minus 10 because my opponent is gonna play accommodate and so I'm gonna get 20 if I choose in. All right, and if I choose out, I'm gonna get zero. So should I choose zero or 20 payoff? Well, obviously I would like to maximize my payoff and hence I should go in. So that means the only sensible outcome in this game, uh, which sort of obeys this idea of sequential rationality is, is, is this Nash equilibrium where player one uh, chooses in, player two accommodates. This one is not sequentially rational and hence it shouldn't really be an outcome. You see what I mean? So this is the additional concept we incorporate into our idea of uh, equilibrium or solution of a game. So now let's work on a bit more complicated games.